Hello, this is Seamus and 7MYW. The 10 meters is finally starting to open up. A little bit uh, later than I think most of us expected with cycle 25. But uh, over the last couple of weeks, 10 meters on FT8 sideband CW has been open up to Europe and a lot of other parts of the world. Actually, this morning was uh, seeing South Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Europe, pretty much everywhere. And so, yeah, it's nice to see that 10 meters is finally opening up. There's been a lot of sun uh, sun issues lately. There's been some major solar flares, but 10 has done well. Uh, but something I had forgotten about, and it just, just reminded me the other day, was uh, C4FM on 10 meters. And using C4FM to find out how well propagation is. So, with this particular model of Yesu, the Yesu uh, FT991A, it has a it has a C4 FM mode on it that you're able to use on 10 meters. In fact, as far as I am aware, it is the only model uh, that allows this. Uh, I don't know if there's another model of uh, Yesu's products that does this, but uh, I, I could be wrong. But uh, one of the nice things about it is, is if you decide you want to do something different other than just the normal the normal uh, FT8 and sideband CW, this is a nice option to see how far your signal will go on C4 FM. It's amazing how far it will go. So with this particular uh, radio, as you can tell, that's the frequency that's the most popular and most used for uh, C4 FM on 10 meters, 29.250. And the uh, great thing also about this radio is it has a tuner. Now I do have a 10 meter ham stick out on my back deck, up about 35 to 40 feet. And so I'll kind of have a, a clear shot to the south. But uh, I do tend to make it back east on some of these signals as well. But uh, all you have to do with this thing is since you're already, since I'm already set up for C4FM and I have my, my call sign and everything in here, you should go over here to GM, which is group mode, and you tap that. And what it's going to do is it's going to beacon, transmit 00, receive 00. That's the settings. Those are the settings for worldwide use uh, that, that doesn't have a code. And you just do that, and you'll notice up here uh, there's a small little... Yep, there it is, a small little broadcasting uh, red symbol that's going to show when it's beaconing. And I currently have 50 watts output on 10 meter C4 FM. Now, if another station comes through on the receiver, it'll pop up right here underneath this part here. A small little box that will show the call sign and it'll show the distance. And this morning I have already had one pop up from about 1,080 miles away. Yeah, no joking. FM on a thousand a thousand miles away so I haven't seen anything since what I've been doing is just putting it back on beaconing here so I'm gonna leave, let it sit right here for a few minutes and see if something pops up on beaconing uh, while it is beaconing um, another thing I wanted to say about this radio I had heard some rumors a couple of rumors online that uh, AC was thinking about Discontinuing this model, uh, maybe they have something in the works that's going to do better. Maybe something that has uh, more features. Hard to say what they're going to do, but I, I have to say, I have had this radio now for probably a little over two years, and it has been amazing. Absolutely amazing radio. Um, the fact that I can uh, one day be running 10 meter FT8, next day I can be running 40 meter sideband, and then here today, I'm running a 10 meter C4 FM. Plus, I can pop on up to 2 meter and 70 centimeter sideband CW FM, C4 FM. Um, so, you pretty much have worldwide communications a couple of different ways. Now, this isn't a review of the 991A. There's, uh, there's a billion of those out there on YouTube. I'm sure you can find them. But um, this, this model does something a lot of others doesn't uh, does not do, and that is the C4 FM beaconing. So... I um, was kind of hoping that while I was doing this video, something would pop up in this corner right here, but nothing has, has as of yet. Um, there are a couple of Facebook groups dedicated to 10 meters C4 FM. And when I check some of those posts, I do see some screenshots uh, or some photographs of some really long distance 10 meter signals coming in when the conditions are right. So kind of hoping that uh, while this thing beacons it's, that something will pop up on that screen. Now you can put different filters on these. Uh, currently I just have a standard preamp on here. Um, sometimes uh, it, it, it 
better to not have the preamp. So what I'll do here is I'll push back, get it off of there, and take that beacon off, or take off the amp. Back there, let's go back over to beaconing, and let's see what happens uh, for the next couple of minutes if anything pops up. Um, now you can do this with FM as well, of course, on simplex. So FM simplex on 10 meters, you can do this, and, and same with 6 meters. I've been able to receive a couple of uh, repeaters on both 10 meters and 6 meters from up and down the, the west coast of America. But that is the farthest I've been able to hear anything in an FM or a C4 FM signal until today. Now this morning, uh, here just a little bit ago, I did see that, that 5 call. Um, what I'll probably do when I post this video is the, the picture that I'm going to use for the, um, for the video is going to show a, a screenshot of that coming through earlier today so that way you can see uh, that uh, how it works but six minutes in here and nothing's coming through so sometimes you can have this sit all day long and not get anything and then there's some days you'll get five or ten of them um, i used to use two meter c4 fm locally uh, with a friend of mine that he was going to work and it worked real well um, until you get about eight miles away and then things tended to fall apart even with uh, 25 or 30 watts so uh, c4 fm does have its limitations on the higher frequencies but here on 10 meters it can be a lot of fun so all right I'll let it go through just another minute or so and see if anything comes through uh, on the receive nothing else yet um, I have seen some some posts of two and three thousand miles, maybe even more, uh, when the conditions are right with 10 meters on C4 FM. This is, of course, a Yesu thing. Now, you can use FM as well, true, but something about this is nice because it has a beaconing feature, and I don't know of another radio that has beaconing on FM, um, on 10 meter FM especially, so Yesu really hit it out of the park with C4 FM. I I really do enjoy using that mode, whether it is through digital on either 2 meter or 70 centimeters, or um, using it here on 10 meters, which is a lot of fun, too. So, Okay, nothing is popping up on the screen, so that doesn't mean it doesn't work. just means that the band is not being super, super um, fulfilling today on this part, of the, uh, this part of the country over here on the west coast of the United States, so going to go ahead and shut this uh, video down, but I wanted to uh, kind of show you how I sometimes will just throw a 10 meter beacon on here and see what pops up. So check the um, check the the photograph that I'm using uh, as the uh, the photograph for this video, and you'll you'll notice if you look there that it is uh, has a call sign from uh, I believe, it looks like it might be down in Texas. I will have to double check on the call sign. So. Anyway, this is a cool mode, so if you have a C4 FM uh, radio that allows you to beacon, uh, give it a try. Play around with it a little bit and see what you can come up with. You'd be surprised sometimes, especially on 10 meters, uh, what things can happen. So with that, I am going to uh, shut down the video and get this uploaded, but uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing if you're a subscriber. Uh, if not, boy, just hit that subscribe button if you can. I'd like to like to make sure that I'm getting out there and that people are enjoying the videos. There's no cost. Uh, I don't have any Patreons or anybody else. Definitely not getting paid. So, but it'd be kind of nice to uh, to know that people are enjoying these. They are fun to put up. I do enjoy the videos and uh, have been enjoying Ham Radio now for almost 40 years. So, this is just another aspect that adds a lot more fun to it. Thank you for watching. Seeing 73 from N7MYW.